Culture Buzz Shalom. Welcome to Eretz Israel Museum. My name is Yara Raz Haklai, and I'll be your guide today in our tour to the exhibition Ethiopia, the Land of Wonders. This exhibition uh, holds itself in self the landscape, the beautiful landscapes of Ethiopia, the glorious history of the of Aksum, the ancient um, the ancient empress. Uh, artifacts, ethnographical artifacts, like musical instruments and costumes, and contemporary art, like from, straight from Addis Abeba, from the artist Aida Muluna. But we'll start from the myth of the Queen of Sheba, the most important myth of the culture of Ethiopia. As the story tells, uh, Queen of Sheba, Makeda, came all the way from the Horn of Africa to visit King Solomon in Jerusalem and ask him questions because she heard about his wisdom. Here in this mural, a photograph of a mural uh, from the ancient city of Jerusalem, we can see her coming to visit uh, Solomon, King Solomon. But how can we know when this picture was taken? When was it drawn? Look at these two figures of Haredic Jews, which are dressed exactly like the way the Haredic Jews are dressed today. It shows, tells us this, this moral was taken about 100 years ago in Jerusalem. When Makeda came back to Ethiopia, she was pregnant with her, the son of, of King Solomon, the Empress Menelik the first empress of the dynasty of Sol the Solomonic dynasty. And here, please look at this arch. Um, the fabric on it was embroidered by um, Jewish Ethiopian women from the city of Lod in Israel. And it tells the story that when Menelik was 18, he came to Jerusalem to meet his father. But when he came back, he took with him unseemly the Arch of the Covenant. And the Ethiopians believe that until today, the Arch of the Covenant is in the Church of Miriam in the city of Aksum in Ethiopia. Please come. We just reached the area and the exhibitions that deals with Beta Israel community, the Jewish Ethiopians, and their story is fascinating. The story of the way they got to Ethiopia and the way they came back to Israel in the last decades. I want to um, start with this beautiful script, which is written in the language is of is which is an ancient language in Ethiopia. This script is the Beta Israel's Torah and it's written and its name is Orit from the Aramaic word Deoraita which means light. The, the costumes of this community was very different from those of other Jewish communities on the world because they were separated from the other communities. One of their um, different costumes is this holiday, seen in this picture, which is called the Sigd holiday, in which at the end of the day, the whole of the, the community goes up to the hill and prays and cries for the return to Jerusalem. And this return had came in the last decades, from the 17th until today. And the greatest operation of uh, of the Aliyah to Israel is Operation Solomon in 1991, which we can see in the pictures here by the Israeli photographer Eliza Obach. Look at look at this picture where when we can see five hands together eating from the traditional Ethiopian food, the injera, 
it's bread and meat and sauces in the middle. And the thing is that the, all the family eats it together. Another interesting photograph is this one, which shows side by side the Aliyah from Ethiopia and the Aliyah from USSR in 1991. Okay, please follow me. We just reached an area in the exhibition that deal with modern history from Haile Selassie, the last emperor of Ethiopia, uh, which had to exile to Israel, to Jerusalem, in the 1930s when fascist Italy military occupied Ethiopia. As we can see here, Haile Selassie, His Majesty Haile Selassie, in Jerusalem and talking in the United Nations to convey um, the release of Ethiopia. And we're moving to another way of seeing Emperor Haile Selassie. The Rastafari movement, which began in Jamaica in the 1930s, and which believed that Haile Selassie is the conquering um, conquering uh, lion of Judea. And last, I want to show you these interesting vessels. Can you imagine what are the use of these vessels? Uh, a rousing beverage that we all drink most every morning is made in these vessels. Yes, the coffee. Its origins and its homelands is in Ethiopia. And in Ethiopia, all the family, three times a day, sits together and drink their coffee. Not in a plastic cup, not on the way, together, drinking and talking, all the family and friends. So, I want to welcome you to come here to our exhibition, which is, which is open until the 10th of June, uh, one month from now. So, please... I will very, be very glad to see you here. Goodbye.